Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can import photos into GoPro Studios. Now this is something that is a little bit confusing and if you've tried, you've probably been frustrated by it. If you've tried to import them in step one, you've probably found they import as a time lapse. If you tried to import them in step two, it doesn't matter where you go, photos don't show up. And you can see it says all supported file types and there's none in here that are actually JPEG. So there's no way to import JPEGs in step two. You can import audio, but you can't do JPEG. So that doesn't really make sense. All right, so how do we get around this? So we can't import in step one because then all we do is import all the photos. I'll show you here. If we click import, we click on, let's say I want to import this photo here. I click open and it imports a time lapse with 23 frames in it. And if we play, we'll see that it plays through like a time lapse. Let's remove this. Now, what we're going to have to do to get around this is actually remove all of the other files from this folder so that it can only see the one. To do this, we're going to make a new folder. So right click, new folder, doesn't matter what we call it. Then we pick the photo that we want. Let's say it's this one. Copy it. Control C on the keyboard. Open that new folder. Hit Control V to paste. Command V on a Mac. And then inside this folder, if we open it, it will import a single frame. And now if we look at the information on this file, we can see there's one frame. This still isn't that good because if we look at advanced settings, this frame is going to go by in one thirtieth of a second. And that's not going to be very good in editing. We're going to have to mess around with the speed of it a lot because remember it's going to convert it from this JPEG into a video file for step two. So what we're going to do is go into advanced settings and then we're going to change our frame rate from source to if we want it to last for, we can either the photo last for two seconds, one second, or five seconds. In this my case I'm just going to go one second per frame, or sorry, five seconds per frame, the top setting here. Hit OK. Then I'm going to hit Add to Conversion List. Convert. Won't take very long at all to convert. You can jump into Step 2 Editing. We can see we now have a five second video clip of our photo. And if we drag this down to the timeline, we can see that when we hit Play, the photo plays for that five seconds. If we want this photo to be longer or shorter, we can change the speed of the video clip here under percentage. If we want to make it 10 seconds, we can make this 50. And you can see now that it'll play back for um, 10 seconds. And if you want to make it half that speed, you can go to 200 and play back for two and a half seconds. So you can play around with the duration of the video clip under speed. Thank you guys for watching this other GoPro tips and tricks video showing you how you can import a photo into GoPro Studios. A little bit of a roundabout way of doing it and it's too bad it doesn't work out simpler than this, but this is um, the only way that I found to do it. Thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please make sure you subscribe and like the video. Check out my channel for tons more GoPro videos and as always, guys, if you've got any questions or comments, leave them below. I read absolutely every one of them and respond to them as many of them as I can. Until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching.